hello and welcome back to Vlashish Bosnia. We're now into September, just woken up. Let's have a quick look and see what the weather's going to be like. Oh, decent weather. Can't complain. Right. So we've got a couple of jobs still to do. We need to get both fields analyzed. We need to pick up the straw on both fields today and we need to get some of the grass going. So how are we going to do that without breaking ourselves? <laughs> so I think the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go and get the windrow working and we're going to win windrow the the hay that we made yesterday and then we're going to go and look about a baler so let's get this windrow going first of all and then we'll do this quickly. This shouldn't take too long. And we'll get back to you once this has been done. Well, let's just chat about what we're going to do first of all. So, once we've done this we will get the... We'll go and have a look and see what we can do with the balers. I think what we need to do is we need to bring in that straw off the field so that we can so that we can um, analyze the fields. So we've got this month and next month I do believe to plant to plant that field. So if we can get well both fields we want to put barley in there so if we can get the fields ready it's this in September so in, in this episode in the next episode then we should be ready to plant in October We will just check up to make sure that we can plant in October. Let's get this little area here finished off first and then we can go and do the front area as well. Well, I must say as well that we need to do the front area. <laughs> but there's a bit of a, a bottleneck at the top of this meadow. We missed a bit there. We'll catch it with the harvester. With the harvester, with the baler. Why am I getting balers and harvesters mixed up at the moment? Strange, strange, strange. It's the bottleneck just at the top there. Let's just lift it up and we'll finish this off. Yeah, I think we'll get enough to keep a couple of cars going for a, a while. For a year or so, I would think. Maybe a bull and four cars or something like that. Or maybe we'll just use artificial insemination. That might be. Why did we do that now? All we wanted to do was lift it. finish us off. We need to 
keep an eye on the market and see when it's best to sell our grain or whether it's just best to hang on to it for for use in the chickens we'll play that one by ear but we've had no income as of yet I doubt very much whether we'll get any any winter contracts to keep us going so well we should get some sort of income from our Got to, we've got the chickens going, although it'll still be quite slow yet because we don't have a huge amount. We should get a new batch of chicks. Not this month, next month I think. In October we should get our first chick spawn. And then we are actually are on our way. Right, so we'll catch you once this is done, and then we'll move on to the next exciting job. you back with me and we've got this last little bit to do and then we will go and look at the balers before we do that I'm just going to go and have a look at right so let's go down and Shall we look at the balers first? I, I want to have a look and see if we can get any any decent um, silage clamps going. I'll be back in a little while. I just need to go and check that out. We'll just pop up to the farm here and see if there's any place where we can comfortably put in a a um, silage clamp let's have a look over here I'm thinking so do we so we need access to get in there let me just put on the here uh, the interactive markers just so that I know I'm not covering anything up okay so that's where we collect the milk so we've got this little area up here so let's see if we can fit anything in there let's go and have a look silos By a thousand six meters by thirty one meters, it's sixty five thousand, forty thousand, twenty thousand silo wall ramp six meters by thirty one meters. Put it up there somewhere. Is there anything else? Nothing. 
seems to move in a decent way, let's put it that way. Oh dear. 30,000, 40,000. Um, okay, uh, so we don't want to spend a lot of money on this. Is that the modular set? It's a back wall. I think as we can pull this way we want to. That's the difference, isn't it? It doesn't place. Very nicely. Eight meters by thirteen hundred meters, so that's We just don't seem to be able to get this in in any we seem to be working on different planes. So I think that's probably going to be best. Could put it down there. It's not very expensive, so the other option is this one here. I think this is taking a rather long time to decide. I think it's going to be this one. I think this is probably wasting a little bit of land, but we have no option. So we're going to build that there. There we go. So that's that done. So we would definitely need to hire a forage wagon to collect the the grass and then we also need to get a baler to bale the the hay so yep it's going to be Oh, I'm not sure that we should have just bailed. We would have only had to lease one vehicle. Um, but then again, we also have to bail all the straw, I think. So, yeah. Come to think of it, we have to get a 
forage mixer as well, at least a TMR mixer as well. Oh, these costs are just mounting up. <laughs> and it's all to do with the cows. It's all going out, nothing coming in. I will see when we get to the shop. Right, yeah, we are at the shop. Let's get that returned. Return, yes. Okay, and now we'll gun these forage harvester and get that job done. Get the silage started. Uh, where are they? Forage wagons. Yeah, we, so we don't need to get anything too big. We'll just release that. It's X. A little expensive. Well, this is. We committed to doing what we're doing, but this is. Uh, yeah. Not working out well so far. It'd be right if we did, had endless supply of money. <laughs> but that ain't the case. Let's see we, once we get back to the farm. Right, here we are back at the farm. So let's get that grass into the silage pit. And we'll get some silage going. Yeah, we've gone down. We're too far down this route to change now. Going to have to get the cows going. Get some milk income. Don't know how long it's going to take before we actually start recouping our costs because we won't be able to get too many cars to start with. We have to go and see the bank manager. In any case, we'll get this all collected and we will Catch you once it's done. We'll do this on a bit of a time lapse. See you once it's done. You're back with me. We're just about finished. Got two small swaths to finish off, and then we'll go and put this into the silage clamp. 
then we'll have to just compact it and cover it and we'll get the silage going and then we'll move on to the next job there we go I think we'll harvest next uh, not harvest we'll um, bring in we'll bail next that's what I'm trying to say we'll bail next we'll bail up the bail up the hay and we'll bail up the straw wonder if I should just before I take this back just take a couple of loads of this a um, couple of swaths of the straw into the into the um, cattle enclosure and just straw that down so long I don't know if we have a manure heap I think I think it's in in the actual in the actual car barn I think there's a place for the manure to be collected we'll find out otherwise we'll put one in right how much have we got And then we've got 64,000 with another 10,000, so we'll have about 74,000. Right, let's get this up loaded. Then we'll start compacting it and we'll go and I think yeah I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple of swaths um, of the straw into the maybe even fill up the straw barn so that we don't have to bail and then and then still straw now I wonder which is going to be the best tractor to which is the heaviest tractor? Let's have a look and see. Um, where are we? We've got to go down here. Yeah, small tractors. Uh, do they have weights on there? No, they don't say how heavy they are. But I think that the being a medium-sized tractor as opposed to a small tractor I think the the Massey will be the heaviest so we'll use that to compact shouldn't take too long We'll just keep the controls up on the top right hand so we can see how we're doing. This will keep us going for a little while. We're not going to have a huge herd of cows at the, to start off with. Trying to think, you know, I was I was thinking only three or four or something like it, but I can't remember what the cost of the cars are. Twelve percent. It's going to take a little while, so we'll catch you once it's done.
glad you're back with me. We're at 99%. We're just about done. It's 100% done. The last little bit went really, really quickly. Right. So let's get in and we'll just blanket that. All nice and done. Nothing sticking out. Pretty much a perfect job. Right. Let's park this up and go and collect some more straw and put some straw into the into the cow barn. I think what we can do is just quickly find out where we need to put it. It's just going to open up here. I think that we put it in around about here. Let's just make sure. Yeah, I think that would be straw, yeah. Just thinking of the manure heap. I don't know if it comes up there, but we'll find out. In the meantime, we'll go and collect some, put the forage harvest on to collecting some straw. Right, where, were, where are we now? Where are we now? <clears throat> right, off we go, off we go. looking at where I'm going to start instead of going through the gate, crashed into the gate. Well done bro, well done. Let's start here. So this will take a little while. We will get back to you once this is full. Although it shouldn't take long to get full, so we can just stay with this for a little while, I think. Yeah, I don't think we'll... Um, I think what I'll do is I'll use this to fill up the straw until it's full. And then we'll bail the rest because it'll just be easier to deal with the bales at a later stage. Don't know how much straw it'll take the, um, the cow barn. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put this one load of this in and then I'll go and get a load of um, of A and put that in and then we can put one or two cows in for the meantime because we are going to utilize hay for at least one day I would think maybe two days while the um, while the silage ferments before we can get onto TMR, so let's have a quick look and see what's happening. Did we leave the gate open? Yes, we did.
Let's so put it in here. Just want to see if you can put it in the, at the outside here, or is that actually where the menu? Yeah. The straw can just basically be put anywhere here. Huh? Maybe. I wonder if we have to put water in. Do we have to put water in? Put water troughs there, but there was a trigger point of some sort at the back here. That might have been just for the hay that we've already put in here. So we've got 16,000 litres in there. Right, let's go and get a, a load of hay and put that in. start yet. I think this is where we actually started to windrow so it'll work out quite nicely. Let's get going. Actually we may have to look for um, for more hay to um, make the TMR because I think we'll have enough straw but whether we whether we're going to have enough hay well we'll just put the one load in. oh should we put let's just see how far we get before maybe we'll put two loads in of hay yeah, I think we, I think we'll put two loads with the, of hay into the into the barn. Once we've got this in there, we'll go and get a a couple of cows. I don't think we'll get a bull straight away. We'll we'll pay somebody to do the the deed as such when required I don't want too much hay sitting here because it'll also affect the um, amount of TMR we can put in once we get going on that Alright, so let's have a look and see what have we got in here now. We've got a little bit in there, but hardly anything. Uh, 16,000. Room. Nothing in there. I thought the yeah, there it is. So let's get right. We haven't done brown Swiss for a while, so I think we're going to do brown brown Swiss like two thousand one hundred each. So. Uh, Let's just get three to start with, I think. So A select and we'll get three. Yeah, we'll get five, we'll get five. Let's go and have a look at them. There they are. And we're going to put another load of hay in there. Let's have a quick 
click and see what what that's done to our animal. So the ducks are doing okay. They are fifty percent here, so we should have ducks next month. And hey, will sort himself eighty percent, so we should get we should get milk once they are in full health. It's probably take a month or so to get into full health. Let's go and get another bunch of hay sorted out, and then we can go and do the straw. Where did we finish off now? Kind of forgot. <laughs> Uh, we got up here. I think we got past the tree there. We're not quite past the tree. Okay, so we should get milk, but just won't be full production. never really tried it that because normally I wait before buying the cattle until I have already got the ingredients for making TMR. But right now we're just trying to get things going down to 61,000 so we're still alright for money for a while. Well we're 100% we full. I think we can take another load off here. Off this little area here and put it straight in and then we can bail that side. I think that's the way to go. Oh, I must close the door. We have a look and see how much feed could go in there. Thirty-one thousand. We're not quite halfway yet. Um, yes, yeah, so it's the troughs make it look a little bit bigger than it is. So we'll take off that last lot in that little area and put that in, whatever it is. Or we'll put another load in, basically. And then the rest will be bailed. I'm not sure how long the cows are notorious for eating huge amounts, of course. Big animals, so they need a lot of energy to keep going. Yeah, man. We're cooking on gas now. Where we? Three o'clock. Right, we'll catch you once this is full. Right, we're just about full. And we've just got this little slither left. But we'll bail that. Just just have to try and remember that it's there. We'll go and do a bit more straw. We'll put another couple of things of straw in there. Food down the middle there. And we 
Okay. Do we need water? That's the other thing I didn't look at. No, we don't. And we doesn't look like we have the facility for manure. So the strawing might not be necessary until we put a manure manure put in. So that might be another thing that we need to buy now. Going this way and see where we come out. Right, we'll catch you once this one's full. Pretty much full on the straw. That's good. We've got a decent amount of of hay in there, so I think we'll go and get a a baler, and we'll get that done. It's looking increasingly like we're going to be doing the the. Um, Oh, what do you call it? The soil analysis tomorrow and well tomorrow in October and sorting the fields out and planting all in a day well all in a month of October because we're already at two o'clock and we really are nowhere f near finished clearing up all those fields and the though we've got the cows going I think we do need to, to bail up what we have and get that over and done with and sort it out so the rest of today is probably going to be done with that we will put this all into one episode because there's lots of um, lots of time lapses in this episode because of the the jobs are fairly mundane but I do want to show pretty much as much of every job as possible even though it may be on a time lapse we will be using jump cuts just to move between places like moving to the shop now I should be really using a jump cut but we're just about there because we do the same trip every time I think that's the way we're going to play the game is the jobs that we're going to do when they come into the actual physical jobs wherever possible we will use time lapses at different speeds for different types of things um, and that way we'll get to see everything we do in this little bit of a hack around Right, let's get that returned. So where are we now? There we go, trailers. That's not what we want to do. We want to get to there. Return the forage wagon. And then we need to go and hire a bailer. 